Hello guys, welcome back to Chunda DIY. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a strawberry vest. It is really easy and friendly for beginners. I'm using only simple stitch. For this vest, I make four size small, but I also showing you how to make it bigger in this video. Okay, now let's get into the video. First thing first, we are going to make the ribbon panel. To begin, make a slip knot. And chain 13. If you guys want the ribbing stitch more higher, you can add more chains. After you got 13 chains, next we are going to make single crochet. For row 1, skip 1 chain and make single crochet into the second chain. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have 2 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 2 loops. Keep making single crochet into each chain until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, and this is what the first row looks like. Next, for row 2, chain 1. For chain 1, we don't count as a stitch. Then we are going to make single crochet, but into the back loop of the stitch only. Keep making single crochet back loop only into each stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, and this is what the second row looks like. 
For the next next row, please keep repeating row 2 until you reach row 135. It is equal 33 inches length. It's the size around my body. If you guys want your waist more bigger, you can add more rows. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 135. Next, we are going to connect this ribbon panel together. To begin, continue from where your last stitch is. Then we are going to make slip stitch by continuing through the hook into the other side loop. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Next, we are going to make single crochet both sides together by insert the hook into both sides loop. Yarn over and pull through both loops. And now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Keep repeating this into each stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then we meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, and this is what it looks like. Turn your work, and this is what the right side looks like. Next, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Then we are going to change the color. Turn your ribbon panel right side out. Then attach the yarn into the stitch that near where we have connected the ribbon panels together. And next, chain 2. For chain 2, it doesn't count as a stitch. Next, for row 1, 
make double crochet into the same loop with chain 2 to make double crochet yarn over insert the hook into the loop yarn over and pull up a loop and now you have 3 loops on your hook yarn over pull through 2 and yarn over pull through 2 loops again Keep making double crochet into each row of the single crochet stitch until you reach the end of the row, then we meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, next we are going to make slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch by skip these two chain and insert the hook into this loop of the double crochet stitch. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. And this is what the first row looks like. Next, for row 2, chain 2. Turn your work and then we are going to make the bulk shade into the stitch near chain 2. Keep making the bulk shade into each stitch around until you reach the end of the row. Then we meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, for the small loop that near chain 2, we don't count as a stitch, so you have to skip it and continue make slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch. For the next next row, please keep repeating row 2 until you reach row 13. 
it is equal 5.5 inches high. If you guys want your vest more longer, you can add more rows. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 13. Next, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And next, count 9 stitches away from the corner. And use stitch marker to mark at the 10th stitch. And don't forget to count the same number to the other side. For the measurement between this both stitch marker, it is equal 5 inches, it's my underarm measurement. For you guys that make bigger size, you can count more stitches and mark it. Next, we are going to make the front part of the vest. As you can see, this is the right side of the stitch. So turn your work and we are going to working on the wrong side of the stitch. To begin, attach the yarn into the stitch that you mark. And next, chain 2. For this chain 2, we also count as a stitch. Next, for row 1, we are going to make decrease by make the bulk shade 2 together. To make the bulk shade 2 together, yarn over. Insert the hook into the next loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through 2. And now you have 2 loops on your hook. Then yarn over and continue insert the hook into the next loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have 4 loops on your hook. Yarn over pull through 2. And now you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all 3 loops. And this is how we make the bulk shade 2 together. Don't forget to use stitch marker to mark at this decreasing stitch. Next, keep making the bulk shade into each stitch until you have 3 last stitches from the stitch marker. Then we meet you back again. And after you have 3 last stitches, then we are going to make decrease by make the bulk shade 3 together. And now you must have 3 stitches with 4 loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through all 4 loops. And this is how we make the bulk shade 3 together. Next, for row 2, chain 2. So for this chain 2, it doesn't count as a stitch. Turn your work. And next, we are going to make the crease by make the bulk shade 3 together. Don't forget to use stitch marker to mark at this decreasing stitch. Next, 
Next, keep making the ball crochet into each stitch until you have 3 last stitches. Then we are going to make the crease again. After you have 3 last stitches, then we are going to make the ball crochet 3 together. Next, for row 3, please repeat the same thing like row 2. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 3. For the length of this row 3, it is equal 9.5 inches. It's my chest measurement. For you guys that make bigger size, you can add more decreasing row to make the chest part more smaller. Next, we are going to fold this front part into two pieces. And use stitch marker to mark at the middle part of it. And then we are going to make the v-neck line. To begin, continue from where your last stitch is. For row 4, chain 2. Turn your work. And make the bow crochet into each stitch until you have 4 last stitches from the stitch marker. Then we meet you back again. After you have 4 last stitches from the stitch marker, then we are going to make the crease by making the ball crochet 3 together. After you have made the ball crochet 3 together, for this last stitch that we mark, we are going to skip it. And next, for row 5, chain 2. Turn your work and make the crease by making the ball crochet 3 together. And next, keep making the ball crochet into each stitch until you reach the end of the row. Next, for row 6, chain 2, turn your work and make the ball crochet into each stitch until you have 3 last stitches. Then we meet you back again. After you have 3 last stitches, then we are going to make the crease by making the ball crochet 3 together. For 
For the next next row, please keep repeating row 5 and row 6 until you reach row 9. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 9. You must have 6 rows of decreasing stitch. And for the length of this row 9, it is equal 1.5 inches. It's the measurement for my strap. And next, for row 10 until row 18, chain 2, turn your work. And make the buckle shape into each stitch until the end of the row. So start from row 10, we just make no more the buckle shape row, no decrease. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 18. For the measurement from row 1 until row 18, it is equal 8 inches. It's measuring from the underarm until the top of the shoulder. And for you guys that make bigger size, you can add more rows at the strap part. And next, we are going to make the second strap. To begin, we are going to start from the middle part of the vest. Attach the yarn into the middle stitch marker. For row 1, chain 2. And then we are going to make decrease by make the buckle shade 2 together into the next 2 stitches. After you have made decrease, then continue make the buckle shade into a stitch until the end of the row. After you reach the end of the row, and this is what it looks like. Next, for row 2, chain 2, turn your work. And make the buckle shade into a stitch until you have three last stitches. Then we are going to make decrease by make the buckle shade three together. And next, for row 3, chain 2, turn your work and make decrease by make the buckle shade 3 together. After you have made decrease, then continue make the buckle shade into each stitch until the end of the row. After you reach the end of the row, 
For the next next row, please keep repeating row 2 and row 3 until you reach row 6. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 6. You must have 6 rows of decreasing stitch. It is the same number like the other side. And next, continue from where your last stitch is for row 7 until row 15. Just make no more double crochet row, no decrease. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 15. Remember, both sides must be have the same number of the row and the same number of the stitches. And next, we are going to make the back part of the vest by making the crescent stitch at this both side to make the curved part at the end of the arm. To begin, turn your vest to the wrong side of the stitch and attach the yarn into the stitch that you mark. For row 1, chain 2 and make decrease by make the buckle shade 2 together. After you have made decrease, then make the buckle shade into each stitch until you have 3 last stitches from the stitch marker. Then we meet you back again. After you have 3 last stitches from the stitch marker, then make the crease by make the double crochet 3 together. Next, for row 2 and row 3, chain 2, turn your work. And make the crease by make the bulk shade 3 together. After you have made the crease, then keep making the bulk shade into each stitch until you have 3 last stitches. Then we are going to make the crease by make the bulk shade 3 together. And this is what it looks like after you got 3 rows of decreasing stitch. It is the same number like the front side that we made the curved part for the underarm. Next, for row 4 until row 16, you just make no more double crochet row, no decrease. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 16. For the front part, we have 18 rows. And for the back part, we also make 18 rows, but I only make 16 rows. For 2 rows left, we are going to make the strap. So for my front strap, I have 6 stitches. For the back strap, you also make 6 stitches of the bokeh shade the same. Continue from where your last stitch is for row 17 and row 18, chain 2, turn your work and make the bokeh shade into the next 6 stitches. And after you got 2 rows for the back strap, next we are going to connect both strap together. To begin, turn both strap wrong side out. And then make a slip stitch. And next, make single crochet both sides together into each stitch until the end of the row. Then we meet you back again.
after you reach the end of the row and this is what it looks like next chain one and cut off the yarn flip your strap and this is what the right side looks like next we are going to repeat the same thing to the other side turn your work to the wrong side of the stitch and then count five stitches from the edge and attach the yarn into the sixth stitch then for row 1, chain 2 and make the bow crochet into each stitch until the end of the row Next, for row 2, chain 2, turn your work and make the bow crochet into each stitch until the end of the row. And after you got two rows for the back strap, next we are going to connect both strap together by repeat the same thing like the first strap. And now we are done for the front part and the back part of the vest and this is what it looks like Next, we are going to make single crochet around the neckline To begin, attach the yarn and chain 1 Next, make single crochet into each stitch around the neckline until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again.
and after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch. Next, we are going to make the ribbing panel around the neckline. To begin, chain 7. After you got 7 chains, next we are going to make single crochet, borrow 1, skip 1 chain, and make single crochet into each chain until the end of the row. After you reach the end of the row, Next, we are going to make slip stitch into the vest, which is the single crochet stitch that we make around the neckline. And after you have made a slip stitch, then make one more slip stitch into the next stitch. And after you got two slip stitch, next, for row two, turn your work. Skip 2 stitches that we make slip stitch, and then we are going to make single crochet back loop only into a stitch until the end of the row. After you reach the end of the row, next for row 3, chain 1, turn your work and make single crochet back loop only into a stitch until the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch into the next 2 stitches. After you have made slip stitch, for the next next row, please keep repeating row 2 and row 3 until you have 3 last stitches from the middle part of the V neckline, then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach the middle part of the v-neckline. Next, we are going to make slip stitch decrease. And after you have made a slip stitch, next we are going to make decrease by make slip stitch 5 in 1. To begin, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. And next, we are going to continue insert the hook into the next loop. And now you have 3 loops on your hook. Then continue insert the hook into the next next loop until you got 6 loops on your hook. And 
and after you got 6 loops on the hook, then pull this last loop through all these 5 loops. And this is what it looks like. And now it becomes one stitch. Next, turn your work. And we are going to repeat the same thing like row 2 and row 3. By skip 2 stitches. And make single crochet back loop only into a stitch until the end of the row. Keep repeating row 2 and row 3 into a stitch around the neckline until you reach the end of the row. Then we meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach the end of the row. Next, we are going to connect both sides together by turn both sides inside out. Then make single crochet both sides together into each stitch until the end of the row. After you reach the end of the row, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Flip it back and this is what the right side looks like. And now the ribbing panel around the v-neck line is done. Next, we are going to repeat the same thing into the armhole. To begin, attach the yarn and chain 1. And then make single crochet into each stitch around the armhole until the end of the row. Then make slip stitch.
after you have mixed lip stitch. Next, chain 6 or 7. If you guys want it more higher, you can add more chain or make less chain if you want it shorter. And then we are going to make the ribbing stitch like we did at the neckline, but no decrease, just repeat row 2 and row 3 around the armhole. And after you reach the end of the row, just make single crochet both sides together to connect the ribbing panel. Please don't forget to repeat the same thing to the other side. Next, we are going to make the strawberry. To begin, make a magic circle or magic ring. And next, for row 1, chain 2, for chain 2, it doesn't count as a stitch. And then make 12 double crochet into the circle. After you got 12 stitches of the bulker shade, then pull the short string tight to close the circle. And next, we are going to make slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch, count 2 chains, and make slip stitch into the third chain. After you have made a slip stitch and this is what it looks like. Next, for row 2, make half the bulker shade into the same stitch where we make slip stitch. To make half the bulker shade, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop, and now you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 3 loops. After you have made a half the bulk shade, next, make 4 the bulk shade into the next loop. Mm -hmm. 
after you got four double crochet in the same loop. Next, make half double crochet into the next loop. After you have made a half double crochet, then make a single crochet into the same stitch with half double crochet. And now you must have half double crochet and single crochet in the same loop. Next, make single crochet into the next two stitches. And after you have made single crochet, Next, make half double crochet into the next stitch. And after you have made a half double crochet, then make a double crochet into the same stitch with half double crochet stitch. And now you must have half double crochet and double crochet in the same loop. Next, chain 1. And then we are going to repeat the same thing like this first side but in reverse. So make the double crochet into the next stitch. And after you have made a double crochet, then make half double crochet into the same stitch with the double crochet. And after you got two stitches in the same loop, then make single crochet into the next two stitches. And after you have made single crochet, then make a single crochet into the next stitch. And after you have made a single crochet, then make half double crochet into the same stitch with single crochet. And after you got two stitches in the same loop, next make four double crochet into the next stitch. After you got 4 double crochet in the same loop, then make a half double crochet into the next stitch. After you have made a half double crochet, then make slip stitch into the same stitch with half double crochet. And this is what it looks like. Next, cut off the yarn. And then use the needle to weave in the remaining yarn. Next, we are going to make the little leaf for the strawberry. Next, we are going to attach the yarn into the fourth double crochet stitch if you count from the bottom. And if you count from the middle part, it's in the third stitch. And next, chain 1. For this chain 1, we count as a slip stitch and then make slip stitch into the next 2 stitches. And after you got 3 stitches of slip stitch, next, chain 4. After you got 4 chains, 
then skip one chain and make slip stitch into the next three chains. And after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch into the next two stitches. After you got 2 stitches of slip stitch, then chain 4 And after you got 4 chains, then we are going to make slip stitch into the 5th stitch After you have made a slip stitch, then chain 4 After you got 4 chains, then make slip stitch into the bottom stitch After you have made a slip stitch, next chain 4 and after you got 4 chains, then make slip stitch into the bottom stitch Keep repeating this until you reach the end of the row And after you reach the end of the row, then cut off the yarn Remember you must have 6 leaves And next, for the remaining yarn, please use the knitting needle to weave in Next, use the white yarn. We are going to make the small seed for the strawberry.
and now the strawberry is done next we are going to attach the strawberry into the vest by using the red yarn and sew it around the strawberry And now the strawberry vest is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Stay safe and stay healthy and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!